Okay. Yeah, you're okay. in. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna do death match. How do I? Where is my mouse? Mouse has just disappeared. Are you oh, playing with a trackpad? Yeah, I'm playing with a trackpad. Oh my god, Kim, so terrible. Yeah. Nah, man, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you, how you do it, man. Because like whenever I play with a track, like I, I can't play with a trackpad. Most people can't play. I, with I am very flexible. I do yoga. You do yoga. <laughs> or there is casual. Which so the base game mode of this game has permadeath. So you die and then you're dead for the rest of the round. Rounds aren't too long, but we're gonna do this because for now because it's not as sweaty and it's more traditional like you die you respawn you die you respawn kind of thing yeah okay. nice shot. yo i got one Oh man, but I got killed by a bot. Oh man. Oh, what? What? Literally can't use my scope. Wait, there is no scope in this game. Yeah, there is. It says use the scope. Wait, what gun did you pick? I don't know. It's a sniper. Oh wait. I think actually. Oh, oh! I know what you're you're using a trackpad. That's why. So it, um, the left the left mouse button is what is traditionally used for zoom. But so to left click, you'd have to um. Left click is uh, is um you you on a trackpad you put two fingers down on the trackpad and click. Okay. Um. Sure. Uh, How is he not dead, bro? Oh, I'm sure I killed him. Dude, I killed him. Yes, you did it. You you murdered someone. You stole their life. They're dead. They're really dead. He had a wife and children, and he's dead. Oh my God! You literally ruined the lives of two innocent people who probably were in his family, his maybe possible child and wife. Yay! Wait, are you on? Uh, are you on the, the terrace or the counter terrace? On the terrace. Me too. Let's commit some war crimes. You love terrorism. Got one. Oh! 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 No! No! I got killed by a bot. Damn it! I'm so bad. Jesus Christ. You're probably better than me. Like, I literally keep dying. What? What? Oh! I'm at 6 health. How did none of those hit his head? What? No! No! What? I hit him in the head! Well, maybe I- I think- actually, no, I, I hit him in the chest. Like, just below the head. Yeah. Is there a friendly fire? I don't think so, now. Third kill. I didn't die right away after. Yeah, I got, okay, I got killed by it. Shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh shoot, dude, a second kill. But I'm so good. I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> Harrison? Yes. Oh, hello! <laughs> hey, yo, follow. You can kill the chickens, too. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> we kill him first and Nope. And it was a bot, damn it! <laughs> bot Seth killed me. And you oh, wait wait, let's find oh, no, I wanna, I'm gonna show you how to kill the chickens. Well the way you do it is you just kinda shoot them. Oh shoot. Okay, let's do let's do counter terrorist. The way I usually play is I always pick the team that has the most bots to even it out. Okay. Team bots and players. All right. 
but one day we'll, we'll get to a certain level where we'll be better than the bots. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck. I got killed by Die. by someone who's decent at the game. Oh, I killed someone. Dude, I'm so good. Oh, I died. <laughs> yes, I got one. Yes. Yes. How kind of recording is this? We're like doing so. We're like celebrating every single kill we get. Yeah, because it's an accomplishment, Kayla. It's a big deal. You murdered another human being. You committed homicide. Kill him? No, I didn't. Uh, it's too bad you can't uh, zoom in for like. You can oh, only man. you can only zoom in for the snipers. Too bad. I didn't rely on. Yeah, I got one. I didn't rely on uh, zooming in, like, uh, in Phantom yeah. Forces. Yeah, this is one of those... That's one of the things, it's, it's weird to get used to in this game. Oh, uh, Snow is great. Unless you are a specific Japanese sailor from the time of a certain nuclear... Um, by the, the time of the, uh... Of B Castle Bravo incident. And we're out at sea, and you um happened to see uh, pre precipitation particles fall, and thought they were snow, but no, it was really nuclear fallout. And what then you the got hell? cancer because <laughs> you stuck your tongue out, and you know um thought it was snow, and thought you were putting snow on your tongue, but no, it was it was ir irradiated dust. But it doesn't really matter anyway, because you would have gotten cancer regardless, because it was raining like. Ra because again, it was snowing radiation. <laughs> that is that. I will explain myself. So Castle Bravo was a nuclear test by the United States. It was it was the first test of a, a thermonuclear bomb? They didn't think it was gonna be as 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 big as it was, because um, and it was a much bigger explosion. So the blast radius was much bigger. Um. Many of the cameramen and sailors at sea were not prepared for this. Uh, the sailors at sea, um, all of them, well, for the most part, many of them were out at sea. And what happened was the blast zone, of course, got the, the, the zone of danger got bigger because the explosion was bigger than expected. And many of these sailors were out at sea, and they saw these these like snowy like particles falling from the sky. So the, the explosion happened, and then they were like, oh, "Okay." And because these are like sailors that just are, you know, kind of badass and just like you know are like not super spooked because like they spend all their time at sea they saw the explosion and then we're just like okay i'm gonna go back to fishing now and then they did and this is like an explosion like the size of a fucking like mountain like it's 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 ginormous like the biggest explosion ever witnessed by man at the time and they just go back to fishing and then it starts um, per, per, uh, um snowing quote unquote this uh, powder like like substance and they think it's snow so they stick their tongues out well, one, well this is this is an account from one of the sailors he sticks his tongue out and uh, and lets it fall on him little did they know it was radiation from the castle bravo incident and you know they all fucking died of cancer you know way too much about this topic <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did, you did mentioned you, did snow. You, did you did you have a project on this or something, or is this no, just I did, no? No, I did. I did what most of us do, and I literally just watched a YouTube video on it. Oh literally, that's because that's all you gotta do nowadays. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was about to say, like, I am terrible at history. I know nothing. All I know is, like, Julius Caesar and all that. Julius Caesar, yeah. I had, like, a whole, like, presentation I honestly, on I, I, So, my friends, Maybeg and Jank or Jake are, are big history buffs. And, man, sometimes I wish I was getting history so I could keep up with them, but nah. Oh, really? They'd be, they'd be talking about, like, specific weapons from various wars, you know. Like the the specific ammo that they used, you know, you know this specific battle. I mean, 
like, if you play enough gun games, I'm sure you could keep up. <laughs> you, you just flex on them. You just name, like, a billion off off the games you play and just be like, ha, huh, I know, I know more real. than you. Let's be real here. The, like, the gun, like, the one, the one of the weapons in Halo is just called the assault rifle. It, like, serious? it's nothing... Yeah, it's just called a ass- the assault rifle. That's all it's called. It's called the M4A assault rifle. That is all it is. Yes. You can only get called M4A in lore, like M4A, like 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 a gun name, like letters and numbers. But in the games, the games themselves is just called assault rifle. Oh wait! <laughs> that is it. Oh wait! You know, what I just realized. Isn't there a gun? Isn't there like a game, like a mini app game, where like. Every, like, there's a bunch of anime waifus or whatever, and they're all named after real guns. What? What is this? You've never heard of this? I, you have to show this to me. I have to... I have oh to... my gosh. You, um, I, okay, I, so... I will, I, will, I will get a smartphone emulator just to play this. There's... Sorry, okay, Mom, I'll be okay, okay, I'm gonna try my best then to... De- uh, to describe this character. So there's this one character, right? A waifu or whatever, wow. and she she has a scar on her eye, right? Yellow eyes, brown hair, and she has like a hoodie or whatever. Do 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 you think you know what I'm talking about? What was it, Caleb? Do you hear what I said? So what'd you say? Okay, so there's this character, right? And she has a scar on her eye, yellow eyes, and, like, brown hair with, like, a hoodie and yellow, yeah. yellow parts or whatever. Yellow parts. And what about her? She's one of them. Uh, Is her name Star? No, her name would be, like, MP something. <laughs> I don't know, because you mentioned a scar on her face. I was like, what if they named her after the scar gun from Fortnite? <laughs> no, literally all of their names have numbers in them. Straight like out. Yeah, and like P90, things, things like that. Yeah. P, P90. P90 is an is a SMG. Is, uh, that's like one of the only SMGs I, I know of. And then there's... The AK-47, which everyone knows. Mm-hmm, yeah. The uh, M-16, which is around. Things. And then, like, the 50 BMG, which we, 50 BMG I only know about because it's, like, one of the biggest, like, rifles in existence. Mm-hmm. So that's not, like, terribly specific. It's just, like, it's like the anti-tank rifle. The yeah. one that's like a like, like a, a big sniper thing that takes a huge bullet that can like pierce tanks. Oh wow! It's a big gun. Um, it's been too long since I played Phantom Forces. I don't remember which gun I used. Blue Manta Berry. Oh, that's an oh. adorable name. Like that Thank name. you. <laughs> Thank you. I have no idea how I, um, actually, me and Steven came up with the name. Blue Manta or Blue Manta Berry? Uh, both same, they're from the same thing. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, no, well, Blueberry was a nickname I actually had for a while, right? Um, my friends didn't call me that. I had it at a camp, and basically, it was like, it's a summer camp, and I would be the one kid who would wear the same blue hoodie. Every single day, so I got the name nickname Blueberry. Have you seen uh, the Mandalorian? Honestly, yeah. I'm gonna go on around here. I, the Mandalorian, and so many other, and so the two shows, the Mandalorian and Star Wars: The Clone Wars, I so badly want to see, right. but I can't. I don't have Disney Plus. Oh damn. Yeah. Um... And it, and it just makes me angry. Because I want, especially the Clone Wars. I love the Clone Wars. And I want to watch it so desperately. The final season. I've never and seen I, the... I've never oh, seen the is, Clone Wars. some of the best. It is... Like, it and the Mandalorian. I don't know, 
I know the Mandalorian's definitely up there, but as far as like pre Mandalorian um Star Wars content, it's like the best. Right. Yeah, I watched the first two or three episodes of the Mandalorian. It's it's not mm. bad. It's not it's, it, it's not what while I was expecting. Or when, while or when you finish the Mandalorian, highly recommend the Clone Wars for the love of God. If you watch the trust watch the Clone Wars for me, Caleb. And then for yourself. It is I see. So so, so good. I see. Well, I mean, didn't you say you didn't watch it? So it's like, no, 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 no. So prior, so prior to Disney Plus, um, the Clone Wars was on Netflix. Um, up to season six point five. I say point five because there were two episodes that came out after that were also there that I watched, but that were like technically season six, but for some reason they were not. I don't know. It was weird, but um. But but then when I remember when Disney announced season seven was coming out, I was super hyped. I was like, yes. But on the same time, Disney was like, oh, we're making a streaming service now, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and I've met for long, and ever since then, I was I this was terrible because I was so excited to finally like see the finale of the Clone Wars and watch season seven. Mm-hmm. And there's so much anticipation because they were going to do like. You know, um, Order 66 and Anakin turning to the dark side in the Clone Wars. And then mm-hmm. I just, I can't watch it. And I'm so upset. Wow. But, um, but yeah, I'd, uh, I'd highly recommend it. Like, if you get a chance, just watch, watch it, the Clone Wars. So. I, I shall. I have, I, I still have, one of my precious items is a, a CD pack of, of a total of four CDs containing, I don't know why there's a total of four CDs, maybe at the time they just couldn't fit all the episodes on one CD, I don't know why, but it's four CDs um, that contains, in total, all the episodes of season one, and yeah. it's my prized possession, one of my prized possessions. And it also has like an art book for a concept art for season one. It's awesome. It's awesome. What? Did it, it already happened. I know. I said, who were who were you rooting for? Oh, I don't know. I don't even watch this super well. Well, not even for the advertisements and the um, halftime show. No, I mean I didn't have a TV growing up. I'm not used to this oh. stuff. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I only watch it because my mom told me to. And, you know, I, so you, I, you did watch. You did watch it. You I did, did watch, watch it. this year's. Yes. Okay. Did you? So you saw the ads in the halftime show. Yes. Okay. Which, good. Which, those from are, what I heard, was really bad this year. Was the I will say the ads were really bad this year. The ads mm-hmm. were ass this year. The ads were terrible. Mm-hmm. I personally enjoyed the halftime show. Like to be fair, compared to other years, like you know, if you want, like I, I, I recommend going back and watching like previous halftime shows, because like the, some of like the just elaborate shit they do is just kind of crazy. Mm. Like they just have like these like absurd things that just like mess with your mind and is like you know, groundbreaking and insane and awesome and just like this like some of the coolest performances ever. Mm. This year, it was. It was. I, I will say this year, they work. Is you fire a bullet, and the bullet, if you stand still, when, when you the bullet leaves the barrel of your weapon, it goes exactly where the reticle is pointing. In CS:GO, the guns have some have um firing patterns, uh-huh, meaning yeah. that they um the bullet doesn't always go where the reticle is put. So what you have to do is, on the one hand, you need to crouch. And because by moving around, so if you if you're moving around, um, by or or quote unquote or running as, as which is by holding W, it's, it's called running in this game. Um, not, there's no sprint button because the base movement speed is running. Um, you if you're running and moving, your reticle and you shoot, you will, your gun will be the least accurate that it can be. Mm. If you are click the walk button, which I don't use the walk button, most people don't use the walk button. Um, it'll be somewhat accurate. That's, the walk button's not important, but so if you're if you're moving um and not crouching, 
least accurate if you're crouching and moving. Still um, about, uh, about pretty good accuracy, but it could be better. If you're crouching and being completely stationary, then your gun will is almost a laser, but right. not quite. For it does the, like a sniper rifle is basically a laser if 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 you're crouching and standing still. But um, certain guns like the light machine gun have a very like specific firing pattern, and it's a predictable firing pattern. But you need to adjust your scope to compensate for the direction that the bullets will be going and adjacent to the reticle. Hmm. I see. So it's it's much different to where it's like in in Call of, in Call of Duty Phantom Forces. These m most Halo, most um, average games, the bullet just goes where the reticle is pointing. Now mm -hmm. there are, of course, in those games. Sometimes those games there are, you know, projectile timing where you may have to adjust your reticle to compensate for bullet traveling distance. But um, what you don't have to compensate for is you, you will not you won't, because the player is moving, but you won't have to worry about the bullet not going where the reticle is pointing. It will always mm -hmm. go where the reticle is pointing. Although I guess in, in battle. Battlefield, you do have an arc. Actually, no, I assume Battlefield is not a good example. Um, Call of Duty, um, Phantom Forces, and Halo. Um, big games, it'll always go where the bullet is going. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah CSGO. Yeah. And in, in CSGO, there's also... Um, not that you have less health, but because it's so hard to hit things, people are con because people are so concerned with making a gun as accurate as possible... It's a very competitive game, so, like, for a lot of the times, we're playing, even in casual now, like, you'll run into players pretty often, at least having a couple each each match, that are, like, you know, aiming for the head constantly and are killing you in a couple hits before you can kill them. If, like, not, like, one or two shots. Mm. If you're playing like um, casual, I, when I mean, I mean, I mean the casual standard mode, or competitive, like people are always aiming for the head at that point. Mm. Yeah. So you're, it's like one shot. It's like whoever um, you see first. Yeah. So it's, it's a gun game, but it's it's not for everyone. I honestly, I I mainly play it simply because there aren't any other really good gun games on Steam that I can run. Mm -hmm. I guess, like, I guess, if I was if I was better at aiming, I'd probably if you, for people who are better at aiming, if you're good at aiming, this game can be a lot of fun. But for people mm -hmm. who are not good at aiming, like me, it's mm -hmm. it's not very fun. At least at least in at least in like the standard modes, deathmatch is, is bearable because you don't have to like you know plan your strategy and then to fight the enemy and then get one shotted and then wait like five minutes for the next round to start. Because of the competitiveness of it, whereas in deathmatch you can just kind of, you know, try again.